Bronze and Bay Area throwbacks, and uh, I'm back with a little bit different of a video today. Um, I just thought of an idea. I don't know if someone's done it before. Maybe they have, but just, you know, I haven't seen it before, and I thought it'd be pretty cool. So what I did was I basically made a baseball team um, just using my the jerseys I have, the players I have based off the jerseys I have. So <clears throat> I wanted to see what type of team I could create by doing that. So um, I chose a manager as well. Um, a starting pitcher, a lefty relief pitcher, righty relief pitcher, a closing pitcher, and then all the positions, including DH and a, a five-man uh, bench. So I didn't do a whole bullpen, but I did three three pitches in the bullpen, one starting pitcher, and five players on the bench, plus the starting lineup. I'm not going to do a batting order. I'm just going to go through and say what positions I'm going to fill. So I'm going to start off with starting, starting pitcher. I'm going to go with Matt Cain. Um, I only had two starting pitches to choose from, Matt Cain and Kevin Gossman, and Matt Cain being, you know, my favorite Giants pitcher of, you know, that I've actually seen, and just being a workhorse, just a solid pitcher, get it done. Great pitcher, you know, should definitely have better win-loss numbers if he wasn't on a team that could just never hit for him because his ERAs were amazing. But, yeah, so I'm going to go with Matt Cain. Um, this is a rookie year, Matt Cain, 2005 team issue jersey which is why it's 43 he did wear 43 his first two years before switching to 18 the rest of his career so matt kane is going to be my starting pitcher. next i'm going to go with my lefty relief pitcher um i have maybe three lefty relief pitcher jerseys but this is the you know only one that's been not that the other two aren't good but this is the one that's mainly you know been a solid all-star great pitcher through his career and that's going to be will smith this is his 2019 all-star jersey so you got Will Smith, who uh, played with the Giants for a few years. He was a closer mostly, but I'm going to use him as relief. Um, yeah, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he might be currently on the Braves. I can't even – I'm not going to lie. I don't remember who he's on now. But, you know, he's had a solid career so far. And so that's what I'm going to go with out of the bullpen to get lefties out. I'm going to go with Will Smith. Next, I'm going to go with my righty <coughs> relief pitcher out of the um, bullpen. Um not the closer, righty relief pitcher specifically. Um, I only have three righty relief pitcher jerseys. One, though, is going to be my closer. And then him, who I'm about to show on somebody else. This one I'm definitely going to go with over the other one. <clears throat> and that is Reyes Maranta. Fortunately, he's on the Dodgers now, but I was definitely a fan of him with the Giants. This is a team issue 2019 uh, Reyes Maranta jersey. So uh, Maranta is just, you know... Throws gas, throws hard, has a nasty slider. And, um, yeah, I mean, he has had a short career. He's only his fifth or sixth season, but so far he's never had an ERA over 286. So he's been solid. Uh, I know he had some injuries and stuff, but, you know, I would say I hope he bounces back. But, of course, he's on the Dodgers. But, you know, hopefully he can bounce back and do well, but, you know, not help the Dodgers get anywhere. That's my hope. But, anyway, so that's why I'm going to go with Reyes Maranta out of the bullpen as my righty relief Next, pitcher. I'm going to go with my closer and uh, going to go with no, uh, none other than Rod Beck, a.k.a. Shooter. That's why I'm going to go as my closer. Uh, Rod Beck leads, is the second all-time Giants closer and saves with 199, only behind, as a Giant at least, only behind Rob Nan. Um, and he leads, tied with Brian Wilson for most in a season for the Giants with 48 saves. So, Shooter... Rod Beck is who I'm going to go with as my closer on my team. So now I'm going to move to my position players. Uh, got done with my small pitching staff. So I'm just going to go in order from, you know, how you would rate them on a score or number them on a scorecard, one being pitcher. So two is our catcher. So I'm going to go with my catcher. And this is a pretty easy choice. Buster Posey. I got my uh, 2017 authentic Buster Posey all-star jersey. So I'm going to go with Buster Posey, a catcher. It was really only between him and one other player, and it's pretty easy that obviously I went with Posey. It wasn't that hard. I mean, there's so much you can say about him, so I'm not going to go too much in all that. Obviously, three World Series um, rings, MVP award, comeback player of the year award, rookie of the year. Amazing career, so can't really go wrong there. So my catcher is going to be a Buster Posey. Next, I'm going to go with first base. This was a hard choice because it was between this player and a Hall of Famer. Um, but the Hall of Famer I could have chose was a righty. And with my lack of lefties, I decided to go with this guy. Um, but definitely not a weak choice in no, you know, at all. So, no, anyways, I'm going to go with Will Clark. I got 
my 1989 Mitchell Ness authentic, my 1993 batting practice Mitchell Ness jersey. We're going to go with Will Clark at first base. Just solid, you know, tough player. Just one of the great, you know, one of those great swings, lefty swings in the game at the time or in general, in all time. Uh, just solid hitter. And you really cannot go wrong with Will Clark plus clutch hitter as well. Someone who wasn't scared of the big moment. I mean, first at bat, he had a home run off Nolan Ryan. So, nothing else you can really say. So, for my first baseman, I'm going to go with Will, the thrill, Clark. I'm going to go to second base now. This, I would say, it would be my um, weakest spot. Um, uh, I'll never say Major League or in general is weak because they obviously made it further than me in baseball. So, who am I to say anything? But, in the sense of compared to the rest of my lineup, <coughs> this would be my weaker spot. But, it's still not that horrible of a choice because this is a 18, someone who played in the major leagues for 18 seasons and hit 270. So to hit 270 uh, in 18 seasons in the major leagues, you can still a solid player. So uh, I'm going to go with Jose Vizcaino, second base, played with a lot of teams. He played uh, and he was on the Gi San Francisco Giants in 1997 with that um, team that went from last place to first place. That, uh, you know, uh, historic team for the Giants. He was their shortstop. Um, for that team, and then he also came back in 2006 uh, for about half a season, and this was a game new spring training jersey by him. So Jose Vizcano is going to be my second base. So for third base, um, this is the only true third baseman I had to choose from, um, but I had a few other guys who could play, you know, second, short, and third, but this was easily the choice for third base for me, and that is none other than Matt Williams. Um, don't have his name on the jersey, but this is a 1995 authentic Matt Williams jersey. Um, solid player throughout his career, played on the Giants, a solid third base for the Giants. I know he played also on the Diamondbacks and the Indians. Um, the strike season, he, very good chance he might have won the MVP. He had 40-something home runs, but then that season got cut short due to the strike. So, kind of, you know, ended a, a what would have been a, a very big season for him. But it is what it is. So, for third base, I'm going to go with Mr. Matt Williams. Shortstop is where uh kind of went a little bit cheap because this player is not really known as a shortstop. His whole major league career, he was a center fielder. Um, but he did start with the team that I have the jerseys of him for. He did start as a shortstop before moving to the outfield. Um, his arm was known to be crazy at shortstop. Couldn't really, wasn't, you know, not very accurate. So I'm definitely going to take um, some hitting and, uh, you know, give up a little bit of fielding on this choice. But I didn't really have another good option. I had some other guys who could play short. But when I had this guy on the bench, I decided I'm just going to throw him in at short, risk his fielding because of his hitting. The rest of our fielding is pretty solid defensively, so uh, we can give up at least, you know, one position, I guess, even though it's shortstop, which you usually want to have a solid shortstop for fielding. But anyways, um, that is none other than Joe DiMaggio. I have three Ebbets Joe DiMaggio jerseys. Joe DiMaggio did start his career. Um, the Seals needed a shortstop, and his brother Vince DiMaggio was playing on the Seals at the time of the Pacific Coast League, and he said his brother could play shortstop, who he, which he was playing shortstop before the Seals on a semi-pro team. And uh, he went over there. He could hit, but didn't get to play as much because his fielding and his throwing was not very solid. So, uh, But eventually they threw him in the outfield, and that kept him in the lineup. And, you know, he had a, he had a solid cannon. He had a cannon from the outfield. So... Like I said, I'm going to give up a little bit of fielding for hitting on this choice. And, you know, uh, yeah. So, anyways, we got Joe DiMaggio. But, you know, it was either him on the bench and someone else or throw him at short. So, we're going to throw the San Francisco Seals version of Joe DiMaggio in at shortstop. That's what we're going to so do. Now, this part of the, um, you know, part of the squad gets pretty lethal. It was pretty fun to choose. Not a lot of solid outfielders to choose from. So, we're going to start with left field. Um, there's a lot of left fielders in history you could choose from, but I don't think there's any left fielder that you could really choose over this guy. Um, and that is none other than Barry Bonds. You know, say what you want, you know, I mean, in, in the books, he's the home run king season and career. Um, you know, people obviously have their issues with that and, and I understand that's fine, but either way, one of the most, if not the most feared hitters of all time, only member of the 500, 500 club. And if I'm not mistaken, only member of the 400, 400 club. I mean, that alone tells you the threat he was and that you, no matter what you say, with or without steroids, that, that alone makes him one of the greatest of all time. 
Um, also had gold gloves as a younger player. Um, base stealing threat, obviously home run threat. So you really can't go wrong with this guy right here. So I'm going to go with Barry Bonds in left field for me. So next, um, we're going to go with center field, which... Uh, I have pretty much possibly, arguably the best player, all-around player of all time in center field. And that's going to be none other than Willie Mays. Willie Mays, this is a, a Evans Field Authentic Santuse, Willie Mays jersey. He did play on Santuse um, in the offseason uh, with Roberto Clemente. So this is a Willie Mays jersey. And he, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, you, to say, hey, kid, you can't really... Who else would you choose to play center field? You could choose anyone in history. I mean, pretty much could do it all. Hit, field, hit for power, hit for average, field, throw, speed, baseball instincts, everything. You really can't go with anybody else in center. And because I got a Willie Mays jersey, that's obviously who I went with. So we're going to go with Willie Mays in center. We're going to end the, um, our positions on the field, and then we'll have our DH after that. Finally got some love for the A's here. Um, I realized all the players I've said so far were Giants players. And then DiMaggio, who was a Seals player. So finally getting some um, love out to the A's. And right field, I'm going to have none other than Mr. October himself. And that is Reggie Jackson. Um, I have two Reggie Jackson jerseys right here. So that's going to be my right fielder. You know, part of the 500 home run club. Clutch player. I mean, there's a reason his name is Mr. October. Because he shows up in the, in the playoffs and in the World Series. Um, hit three home runs in a World Series game. I mean, you can't really, you know, someone who loved the big moment and was just, you know, hit bombs. So we're going to go with Reggie Jackson is going to be our starting right fielder. DH, um, I have some other players I could have chose over this player, but I wanted to go with uh, someone who was, you know, naturally was a, was a DH mostly, um, especially on his time with this team. He led the league in home runs one season. He led the league for th in a three-year combined um, span in home runs, and that is none other than Chris Crush Davis. This is a, a team issue 2019 Chris Davis jersey. Um, you know, kind of fell on a hard times after those three seasons. You know, he started another season, which was this year, 2019, um, where he had 20-some home runs, 20-something home runs, somewhere in there. Um, but he got hurt that year, too, and kind of was never the same after that. So if that was 2019, that means 2016 through 18, that three-year span, he had the most home runs in the major leagues. And if I'm not mistaken, 2017 is when he led the league in home runs. So for DH, I'm just going to go with the power threat in Chris Davis. Real quick correction. It was 2018 that he led the major leagues in home runs with 48. So 2016 to 18, that three-year span combined, he led all home runs. And then in 2018 specifically, he led the major leagues in home runs. So before I go to my um, bench, I'm going to go with my manager because I, I wanted to start with that. But anyways, we're going to do so, that now. Um, I'm trying to think if any of the players I have jerseys of became managers, but either way, this is the only um, two jerseys actually, but the only player I have where the jersey was actually during the time that he managed, and that is um, none other than Lefty O'Doul. Managed the Seals for a long time, um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go with Lefty O'Doul, the San Francisco, you know, San Francisco baseball legend. He is gonna be the ma the man who's gonna be managing our. Baseball team, basically. So we got Lefty O'Doul managing. I'm going to throw our five bench players. Uh, guys, we're going to be coming off the bench. Um, throw them out there. So first, we're going to go with Ioannis Cespedes. This is a, a team-issued spring training Ioannis Cespedes jersey. Cespedes is one of my, um, or he at the time that he was playing on the A's, he was my favorite player in the league. Um, just a monster. Um, hit bombs, drove in runs, you know, just a threat at the plate. Also had a cannon in the outfield, so uh, off the bench, we got Ioannis Cespedes coming off the bench. We then got um, the player that was hard for that, you know, I had to debate between him and Will Clark at first base. Well, we Will Clark to have more lefties in the lineup, so we're going to have Orlando Cepeda, the baby bull. Hall of Famer, um, you know, just a beast. Could play first base and could play left field, so he can come off the bench. Um... And, you know, if he hits and we need to put him in the field, he can play first and left. So we got Orlando Cepeda. Orlando Cepeda. Orlando Cepeda. I don't know what's going on with me, but we're going to have him playing uh, or coming off the bench. So can't really uh, complain with the Hall of Famer coming off the bench. So it is what it is. 
Next, we got a player who it's a shame for him to be on the bench of a team, but um, really couldn't put justify him putting him over Barry Bonds. But basically, we have the biggest steal threat of all time coming off the bench. So not only can he hit, um, but we want to put him into the pinch run. We got him, and that's nothing other than, none other than Ricky Henderson, you know, all-time steals leader. Uh, yeah, so we got Ricky Henderson. Like I said, coming off the bench, he can hit. Definitely can steal some bases, so that's solid right there. We got Ricky Henderson. Next, we got uh, our lone, is this only? Yeah, our only lefty off the bench, and that is Al Oliver. Um, Al Oliver, a lot of people may not know him. Um, this is a game used spring training jersey of him on this one season with the Giants, which was 1984, which he didn't even play the whole season with the Giants. But anyways, uh, played 18 years in the major leagues, hit, um, hit 303. That, I mean, anyone who could play that long in the major leagues and, and hit – over 300 in that time is obviously was a solid hitter. Even led the major leagues um, in 1982 with a 331 batting average. So we got Al Oliver, who's our lone lefty off the bench. Uh, yeah, coming off the bench, he can play throughout you know all the outfield and play first base. So another versatile player we can put out there. So that's Al Oliver. And now our last player coming off the bench is going to be Jason Kendall. Uh, you know you got to have a backup catcher, so. <laughs> we got Jason Kendall coming off the bench. Um, this is a spring training, uh, game you spring training jersey. In the years they wore this, um, only three players wore that number 18. It is spring training, which means it could have been some other player that didn't make the team. But uh, Jason Kendall did wear 18 for the A's. And the size of this jersey most matches up with him compared to the other two players who wore that number. So I'm taking that as a Jason Kendall jersey. Um one of the few um, catchers of all time with 2,000 hits or more. And, yeah, so, you know, one of the – we not only do we have a solid catcher, backup catcher, but he can hit too. So, Jason Kendall is going to close out our bench. And that's our team right there. So, it's probably a super long video. I don't even know how long it is. But that's my team right there. Um, I think it's a solid team. We can pretty much go up against any team of all time. Uh, and, you know, if you have enough baseball jerseys to make your own starting lineup and bench and team and pitching rotation and manager, I'd love to see what you could throw out there. Anyone else out there? I know a lot of you guys got a lot of baseball jerseys, so um, see what you could do. Mighty fan, with as many as you have, I would love to see the lineup you could create. So, anyways, that is that. I'm going to uh, leave it at that. Everyone have a good day. I'll see you all next time. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. Uh, if you were to change anyone in my lineup, let me know. Uh, but that's that. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, thank you. See you again. See you next time. Have a good day.